And uh, first of all, thank you very much for invitation. It's very, I'm very honored to be invited to such interesting conference, uh, such international and with uh, so high scientific level of particular presentations. Uh, let me uh, say something maybe into general words, but I'm sociologist. I'm working at the Jagiellonian University in Poland, and I'm just interested in uh, anthropology, cultural anthropology, sociology, cultural sciences, and with connections with, with political sciences. The, the subject of my presentation today is what are the American culture wars real results and synergy of axiological predictions. Actually, uh, the, um, the next. Uh, the term uh, culture war is, uh, has a very broad meaning and has a, a, a big literature now. And um, from different points of view, the, the problem is, inter, uh, is treated. Actually, uh, one of the most known and popular author is uh, James Davison Hunter, who proposed uh, such a general meaning of the term as a dramatic alignment and polarization of values in public life that had transformed American politics and culture. And uh, originally, the, it was connected with such questions uh, like a uh, number of hot uh, defining issues, abortion, gang politics, uh, separation of church and state, privacy, uh, homosexuality. Uh, but now uh, the, change, the situation has changed and the, the notion is uh, understood uh, in much more broad sense. And uh, actually it's uh, defined not only by nominal religion, ethnicity, social class uh, and over political affiliation, but rather uh, by uh, ideological world view, um, some certain kind of attitudes, cultural attitudes, and, and, and system of, of cultural sensitivity and maybe preferences. So uh, the term is uh, very flexible, uh, what makes the term very useful, but from methodological point of view, very uh, sophisticated and uh, very difficult to um, empirical um, research and to operationalization uh, from empirical point of view. But uh, is very interesting and inspiring, I think, and could be used not only to American situation and American culture and American politics, but also to um, European, even Poland uh, situations, to the situation, to the conflict and tensions that are very similar because of cultural tensions, cultural conflicts, engaged in, in poly, political life. From this point of view, it's really very inspiring term and uh, could be used um, on the base of different uh, disciplines, including sociology, political sciences, cultural studies. But my question let me put in this discussion is, what the culture wars have in common, if they have, of course. But from my point of view, they have something in common, uh, something positive and something negative. Positive, if it's possible, because if you are talking about wars, I, I'm not sure if the wars have positive results. Uh, maybe not. And from this point of view, is the controversial thesis that such positive results could exist. But if uh, it is significance of questions, our awareness 
these questions about real sense of human and cultural rights uh, has significance. It's still very important questions. And uh, a kind of discovery and awareness, even of very controversial but very inspiring term, cultural security problem that could be interpreted from very, very different points of view. It's a great discussion, but it is very inspiring. That much more negative, negative consequences, and maybe not only reductions, axiological reductions, but maybe even destructions. And there was discussion, destructions and reductions, axiological reductions, are the consequences of the extreme attitudes and kind of reasoning and argumentation used even sometimes as a persuasion and even kind of manipulation in public discourse by all participants of the uh, situation, all groups, institutions, uh, organizations, societies engage in wars in different fields of social reality. From this point of view, such polarization of attitudes is connected to polarization of thinking. And the results are simplification, not only reductions, uh, but on also simplifications. And uh, engagement that leads to the tensions by very strong argumentation sometimes just is a kind of simplification from this point of view is, is destruction of deeper kind of reflection deep kind of thinking and uh, maybe deeper kind of sensitivity from this point of view wars and tensions are destructive both for left or right orientated or in partners, uh, and what are the roots of those reducts? A lot of them, but let me point out some of them. Uh, first, general, very general civilization, axiological trans transitions, and it leads, unfortunately, also to reductions. Uh, the next hidden and sometimes, but sometimes explicit pr pressure of political factors in the field of social morality. Political pressure is uh, sometimes very, very strong. Uh, breaking rules in the field of democratic, democratic principles in social order by strong political pressure and political wars cultural wars and political wars, a weakness or even totalitarian character of the alternative anti-redactional proposals that sometimes are very totalitarian, a axiological weakness and educational, for example, systems, which is very weak, religious fundamentalism, as a kind of reactions for this situation, but with negative consequences. Exclusiveness of the nationalistic movement that are also very rich in all kinds of reductions, even axiological reductions. And the deficit of cultural adequacy even of justifiable limits in our understanding of human and cultural rights uh, understanding. Uh, from this point of view, uh, the first, let me say something about the first kind of uh, factor in axiological deductions. Directions and mentions of the theological reductions in contemporary culture from left to right. We don't have the time for analyzing them in particular way, but generally speaking, such notions like 
wisdom, truth, responsibility, beauty, and common will are transformed to more often used uh, notions like knowledge, contract, pragmatism, aesthetic experience, not beauty, aesthetic experience, and collectivity. And further to the next steps of reductions, information, image, effectiveness, aesthetic impression, and population. So there's a long way from the left to, to right uh, sides of the, uh, of the way with axial reductions. Of course, it's a very general, maybe very controversial classification, but if we can see for language used by modern sciences, for example, who now wants to use such notion like wisdom? That's what is wisdom? Very, very undefinable way. That's uh, a kind of, from methodological point of view, uh, undefinable way of thinking. Uh, the next is the facet of limits in human and culture rights understanding uh, and understand human and culture rights. Let me recall to uh, one of the very old uh, scholars from Jagiellonian University, uh, Pavel Wodkowicz, uh, who was an uh, author of some kind of interpretation and concept of so-called use, use against you. Uh, in the beginning of our Jagiellonian University history, uh, they proposed certain kind of understanding such the human rights that could be interpreted now as a kind of cultural rights. Uh, what is interesting, what Covid used and recalled to the notion of dignity, but not only in interpersonal relations, but also in uh, intercultural, uh, in political relations. And what he proposed as a kind of uh, distance to uncontrolled understanding of our human rights or cultural rights. He was very practical. He was very practical, uh, but also very empirical his approach to international war and to the concept of use against you. First of all, when our human rights and cultures should be, should be limited. Uh, the reasons of the human and cultural rights, limitations in situation of the cultural wars, uh, it means in situation of enlightenment and politicization of values. First of all, uh, when we have destruction of the rights and dignity of others. My rights should be limited when I destroy the dignity of others. That's why my human rights are not unlimited. The second, when destruction of the common goods are changing values and needs, because needs are sometimes very particular, uh, very contextual. So they should not be the, the fact of our politics and uh, our system of, uh, of values, because they can distract a more broad understanding of the intercultural, international, interpersonal relations. And the last, when we have relation of particular groups uh, by uh, our own feelings and our own conv conviction about my right or rights of my group. Isolation of particular, like when it situation leads to isolation of particular groups from each other and community of the groups. When my group or another is isolated from the much broader context of human cultural social relations. Very, very, uh, I think, reasonable and practical. So 
it's not against of human rights. On the contrary, he proposed a deep understanding of human cultural rights on the base of dignity, but, but with reflections and uh, tolerance towards in other groups, in other communities, and in other cultures. And uh, Kharkovian groups, Kharkovian scholars. Uh, Lodkovitz uh, was a member of such special Kharkovian scholars. Uh, and uh, they proposed they a proposed certain kind of set of values in uh, understanding of uh, rights of nations, cultural rights, uh, in reducing contemporary synergy of cultures as axiological reductions, dignity of each group, good faith of the parties, honest attitude, goodwill, pure intention, and so on, so on, the right of life, the rights of freedom, the rights of so they propose a good background for anti reductional movement in our perception and understanding of their cultural relations. The answer is, on the base of those kinds of values, to build sustainable bank model of the value relations, sustainable model of value relations. And if we can propose some dimensions on which we analyze different kinds of values and dynamics of those relations. For example, human being and humanity, one dimension, interactions, dialogue, the second, and development of and growth, the third. In the first dimension, if we have dynamics between particularism and universalism, we had to find a sustainable model and place for our culture being and culture existence between those values. And if we have the second dimension, interactions, we also have tensions of value, autotelism as a value itself and our task is to find a middle place. And the third dimension is development and growth, and also tension and war in personalism and collectivism. And the task for us as teachers, as academics, as intellectuals, is also find particular and concrete place between those values for uh, real development with such kind of reductions that leads to a reduction of our humanity. And on the end, let me propose a certain kind of model where we have all those three fields of values and relations between them with tensions, but with a chance for finding sustainable place or reasonable model of values that is very difficult to find now, but maybe is a challenge as a text for us as a kind of intellectuals, maybe leaders, teachers, as uh, finders, such kind of solutions that reduce cultural reductions. Thank you very much.